This demonstration was originally created for Pat Gelsinger's EMC World keynote in 2013 and was designed to show the benefits of virtualizing Hadoop on vSphere. The first thing I want to do is show you how easy it is to create a Hadoop cluster using vSphere. From vCenter we invoke the create cluster wizard and then we'll give it a name and then we'll select our preferred Hadoop distribution. In this case, I'm going to take Pivotal HD. And I could create a basic Hadoop cluster, which would be deployed on local storage. But in this case, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to create a compute-only cluster that is deployed on Isilon scale-out NAS shared storage. Once I've done that, I'm going to configure each of the nodes in the cluster. That's the amount of CPU, memory, and storage for each of those nodes. And then I will select the number of nodes to deploy. And that's it. So vSphere will go out and create all of the virtual machines, install the operating system, install the Hadoop components, and start all of the processes. And you'll have a Hadoop cluster up and running in four to six minutes. Notice that I've already created two Hadoop clusters called Tier 1 and Tier 2, which have been given separate priorities, and we'll see how that works in just a second. Our Tier 2 cluster is powered on and running an experimental MapReduce job. That means it has a lower priority than a production Tier 1 job. As we drill into vCenter, you'll notice that the VMs are powered on, all of them are on and running. As we drill into the configuration for this Hadoop cluster, you'll see the resources it used had a priority set to normal. Let's contrast that with the resource pool for our Tier 1 cluster, where you can see the priority for the pool has been set to high. So now what we want to do is to run a job in our Tier 1 cluster and see the impact on resources that are available to the Tier 2 cluster. The job we're going to run is a classic Hadoop use case where we search for a specific image in a pool of images. So in this case, let's assume that we had a video stream taken from the Venetian Casino. We pulled the images from that and uploaded that into our Hadoop file system. And now what we want to do is to search for a specific image within that set of images. So we're going to have a little fun with this. We selected Pat's image. And we're going to kick off this search in our Tier 1 cluster. So we'll be searching through all the images in that data set to see what we can find. Now we want to go back and compare the resources being used by our Tier 1 and Tier 2 clusters. First we look at the Tier 1 cluster. We see all the VMs are powered on and they're running that search job. But what's interesting is to see what happened to the Tier 2 cluster. What we see is that vSphere needed resources for the Tier 1 cluster and automatically powered down VMs in the Tier 2 cluster. In other words, scaled in the nodes in the lower priority cluster to accommodate the needs of the higher priority cluster. I've shown you how easy it is to configure and create Hadoop clusters on local or shared storage using vSphere. I've also shown you how you can create tiered classes of service set priorities for your Hadoop clusters, and vSphere will automatically scale in or out the nodes in the cluster based on your prioritization and changes in demand. Our Tier 1 job should be done. Let's see what Pat was doing in the casino last night. 